Good morning. I am casual. Not so casual. Let's sit down a little bit over here. All right. I'm going to make my bed. Woke up. I I like. I love this camera. I love the quality. I love what it does. I don't like what it's doing now, blurring my face. I appreciate the intention, but it just looks weird. If you could do it without it looking too weird, which is not too, too bad right now, but like over here, over here, blur that, blur this. But it's not like this doesn't need that much blurring. Anyways, eight, went to the bathroom, eight. Had a very interesting conversation with Pine Tree last night. And the reason I mentioned that is because I just said that I went to the bathroom. And apparently, if you're not a celebrity, it's not that cool to say that. <laughs> I grew up, I guess, in the past, didn't really grow up because I was like already more than an adult, sort of, technically, not really, but technically. Watch so much Lily sing and I love that and I aspire to be that and she's my role model and I want everyone to feel that way. I got very heated in talking about that and I don't know, I don't know if it came across what I was trying to say, if what I was trying to say came across. It, like she talks about whatever and she doesn't apologize and it, some things are embarrassing or you think they're embarrassing but we all do it and it's like why, how, why hide, why, why anything? It goes along with something that he said is, he called it reference experience where like if you do it and you get positive feedback or you don't have negative consequences or you survive negative consequences and you're like well okay that wasn't that bad then you keep doing it we we're talking he was saying that as far as like being more myself and putting myself out there but then he kind of criticized being myself when he criticized talking about so freely about like all these things like bathroom stuff or whatever and i don't talk that freely that's my goal is to not be embarrassed i have I very much hold on to the idea that I was raised with as far as like be classy because I also saw a friend who was just swearing up and down just because he she could and it was her entitlement kind of that was a little displaced in my opinion totally get that and I guess that's like how he sees some of the things that I've posted in the past when I had Facebook and that's what we we're talking about but I don't feel like it was the same thing I feel like I still kept it classy, I just kept it human classy instead of perfection classy, you know? And that word is kind of, it can be probably controversial, or I don't know if controversial is the word, but maybe not everyone agrees with that, especially in terms of like feminism and definitely grew up with the sense of what a girl, a good girl is. I don't want to not be that just to rebel. Never was in that mindset. I just wanted to be able to be me. I can be me and still be considered girly and classy and whatever. That's my opinion. I'm not going to make myself into a man just so I rebel against some notions of what it is to be a female. We didn't talk about it that way, but he's a lot more traditionalist in that sense of gender roles and how you're perceived and whatever. And it is something we clashed on. And last night I realized how much that was like underneath probably every issue that we had because I always felt like we only had one issue but I couldn't really pinpoint it and I think it's just that <coughs> thank you no one says bless you anymore like in Romanian we say norok which is like good luck well we say like a bless you kind of thing but like we don't say it it's more outside of the city and you know more religious folk long story communism took away religion blah 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 <coughs> I want to desperately get rid of this carpet, but I don't know how positive. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. My bed, that's very heavy. This whole thing is very heavy. That, I mean, I can do with that. It's just those things. If we could do it in a day, great. Because where would I sleep? Where would I put my bed? I tried to kind of explain my point of view. It was very clear that he didn't. My point of view is not something that he really thought through. He thought through his own point of view. I've been in his point of view, but I don't think he's been in mine where I'm free of these chains. I'm going to like express whatever I want to express. That freedom kind of call. And it's... I use the word oppression, which might be strong, but that's what it felt like. I felt like as, as a girl, as a woman, as a female, whatever, as an immigrant, as a human being, I feel we're being oppressed. 
he brought up work like there are things you can't say at work you can't really criticize work not even just criticize like we've both been in that situation where you're you know the workplace says oh you can do this here and you can do this and we have this and this going on and you being there it's like well yeah it's going on but you don't really have time to do that it's interesting because oh my gosh we're so alike we're like we're, we're literally two peas in a pod. We literally are that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so crazy. Anyways, so there's things like that where you can't really speak up about because you wouldn't lose your job necessarily, but you're going to have people kind of feel you're not a team player or all of a sudden there's like all this negative energy and like there's nothing good that comes out of it and nothing bad comes out of not saying anything really. It's really just kind of irrelevant because the fact is that those things do exist, right? So those things, totally agree, but like I definitely am in a very different space. I never had people around me that were the same and I felt sadness and loneliness inside of myself because I had friends who were more about the status quo trying their best to do what they love outside of going to work and all this stuff and I was like why why would you do that why would you settle why would you let someone win like that over you and it's not about winning it's about it's not good for you it's not good for your health. If it is, cool. Like, not everyone is out for the different path. But that's the thing, like, in our society, I think around the world, maybe not so much. Like, uh, I was watching Sweden, but people say it's not quite like that. And I'm not just saying US. I'm saying most, if not all, the world. Just the human society. We don't really value people who think different. It's very tied to you have to think like the pack. You wear a pack, you have to not deviate too much from it but then ironically in a twist of fate or twist of irony why did i say twist of fate twist of irony we value and look up to idolize have role models who were completely opposite of that were the ones who you know deviated and went on their own path and all that stuff so it's definitely something that i i notice and i don't understand why we have to settle on them why can't we all just wake up live with the best that we have to give it rhymed anyways so let me go fix this situation edit oh my gosh yesterday was a long one and the reason that i want to catch up on editing is because when i edit it pulls me back to the past and i don't want to think about all this stuff that i said i want to move forward another thing that i want to do today is just get out of the neighborhood we'll see but my face isn't that bad. It's not as bad. I love this camera so much. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm doing things. Such a mess. I don't even know what to do with all of it. I don't know. I'll soon just have boxes of stuff. Cool. Bye. So I took out the little turban thing. My hair is still very wet. I'm going to go eat because I'm so hungry. I need to sleep better because... That's not good. Just finished editing. I'm very proud of uh, March 23rd. I said some tough things to say. I'm very proud of my edit of it. It's only, well, it's 44 minutes. Okay, thought it was 30 something, but I don't know. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of that day. Let's go get a little bit of setup for the drive. Also, I have to call my work. Not looking forward to that. Trying to get centered. Not let it get to me. Cool. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi. Good morning, good day, good evening. I'm about to call my office, but also I'm so terrified. We're gonna just go for a spin just to like outside. I'm actually, actually terrified. I'm actually terrified. Let me call first though. Let me like get out of the driveway. I press record before setting it up and then I stopped recording when I started talking. That's great. Anyways, oh, I am putting my hair down. There we go. Why is that guy walking his dogs on the road? Why, why are you walking your dog on the street? Like, hello, not even on the other side of the street. Like, ignorant people, ignorant people. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> I'm just going on a normal street. I'm getting anxiety. I'm not even in civilization yet. Oh goodness, and I'm in the car. Ooh, I'm 
wonder if you can fit in here. Not really, can you? I tried. My gosh, what I was saying, this has a heated, heated steering wheel. However, this part right here, that's metal. Okay, zoom. This part right here is metal and it's cold. So you get this really weird sensation where it's like cold in the middle of your palm, but then hot all around it. Mm, I need to turn that off. So I'm very excited because I was editing all day. I was editing the 23rd and I'm so excited because I edited it in such a way where I'm just very confident in what I'm putting out there. Yesterday especially leaving the past in the past and then moving forward and looking into the future and talking about better things than my frustrations at work and yeah I actually stood quite a way from the car in front of me. Weird, everyone's empty, everyone's empty in the parking lots. I also feel kind of scared or guilty or something because this is not my car. My car isn't working, so I took our minivan. It's not technically mine. What would people do without a drive-thru? What would people do? Darn it, this wasn't really thought of. I'll be back, I'll be back. I know I said I'll be back, but I'm back a little bit. I'm still driving. One thing is the steering wheel is way too sensitive. The second thing is I just thought about this. Do people get stopped right now by the police if you're driving too fast? That would be kind of against social distancing, wouldn't that be? So can people drive as fast as they want? I just got that idea. I have not driven fast, but I just had that thought. Yay! Wow. I'm going to be honest with you, I thought that was going to be a lot different. I did not get out of my car, so I'm still terrified to go out into the world. I am officially calling myself uh, agoraphobic or something like that. Gosh, I'm so mad at my workplace. It's raining. Alright. I said that I wasn't going to talk about this anymore. I'm really hot right now, actually. Let me turn the car completely off. I don't know what else. I'm not going to... There's nothing else to say about that. I said that I wasn't going to talk about the past anymore and talk about that issue anymore. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, I don't really like my hair. My hair being so wet, it's kind of... It's not very voluminous, voluptuous, vol, vol, volume with volume. And now that it is, it's going to sink down and it just looks weird. Well, this doesn't help because that's... Anyways, I'm very irritable right now. Very irritable right now. Very irritable right now. I'm going to go inside and edit some more. I just wanted to get out a little bit. It wasn't that, that different. One thing that I was thinking about coming back, I feel like I push myself to be a little more energetic and upbeat than I am. Or... Not more than I am, but the way that I do it, it's pushing myself. I don't actually feel it. I'm not actually there. That cat better not cross in front of me. It's like staring at me. Do not cross in front of me. No, we will not do this. Get back. Stupid cat. I mean, it's not stupid. It's really probably smart. I don't know. Staring contest. Whoa! <laughs> How do I? Okay. Right? Okay. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. I think that I feel like I hear the difference and I feel the difference between when I'm actually excited and actually like go, go, go and when I'm pushing myself because I'm technically holding myself back. It's like I hold myself back but I also push that extra energy and so it creates this tension that's just like kind of stuck there not going anywhere. And I also feel like I am a lot calmer and I've never really explored that calmness. I used to be quite calm. I also used to be more in my head. I was never agitated the way that I see myself is never agitated it's just full of life so I feel I'm more agitated now than full of life um so yeah I don't know you're how are you already it's only been five minutes and your temperature is already running too high why how I don't understand I'm so confused and I, ha I have it right over here this like temperature thing I should take a picture we made stuffed cabbage yesterday, and by we, I mean other people than me. I put them with zucchini, getty, 
like spaghetti out of zucchini and I kind of feel hungry and I was thinking about that I ate soup my gut bacteria is asking for something else not my actual hunger is asking for something else does that make sense I don't know I was thinking a lot about not a lot why do I say that I we all talk in superlatives and it's so easy to kind of go along with that I'm much more calm and I've not explored that calmness and I was thinking about pine tree how calm he is how it brings out my agitation a little bit more but I also like being sort of like an excited little kid because I never really got to do that so I enjoy that part too doing to be that giddy excited little kid but I also want to be calm I want to be all of myself Anyways, I was thinking of maybe I should really think of my vision for this channel and stop vlogging. Not stop vlogging, still vlog, but stop talking about topics in vlog form and more so put that energy and effort that I kind of started with at the very, very beginning four years ago. Cannot believe it's been four years. And actually do something creative, not concise necessarily, but just something that's focused instead of just all over the place and just casually talking. And then vlogs can be more vlogs of I'm doing this, I'm going there, blah, 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 blah. And then I get to give a chance for the topics that I do want to talk about to be heard. And also, organize my ideas of how what other content do I want to add to this channel songs parodies I was thinking of sort of singing or performing my own personal songs I don't know like the legalities of that because I I own them obviously I wrote them but if someone steals them I don't know how that would work how can you prove that etc my hair is really really long really long it's so crazy cool it's still so dark. I'm just very stressed. I was hoping that I was going to have some sort of decision or communication with my workplace today and editing took a little too long and then I had to eat and by the time I got out, I thought I was within the time limit but apparently they changed on me. I definitely have entered a state, a time in my life or I don't know how to call it, maybe an era. I don't know. But I, I feel like I've entered, we'll go with era, of not wanting to compromise morality. That's another thing that I kept thinking of. All the people who don't have, not just a home, maybe they have a home, but they don't, they don't have food or money for food. I just feel like I could be doing more. I don't really know what. Sometimes I just feel that pressure of, Arena, you're being lazy. You're not doing more. You're just talking about it, uh, talking about wanting to do more, and you're not doing it, and you'll never do it. I get stressed about that, and then I do it less, and I I have to find that sweet spot of where that can be motivation instead of overwhelming me i don't i don't really know i don't really know i don't know anyways yep 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 happy things happy thoughts happy things happy thoughts happy things happy thoughts don't have anything for you today kind of updated myself a little bit on the numbers of cases and deaths and it's just a little bit crazy that so many thousands of people have died in the span of three months two months like italy and spain and it shows you very much i think what countries got their priorities straight and which countries didn't and uh, i can't even say that because it's not necessarily the government or anything it's just the people i still hold on to the notion that education is the most important thing we can do for this world for ourselves for the societies the human society this kind of definitely shows that with education you would have had better numbers less numbers but people just kind of were waiting until it was too late sort of and still are just heard heard talks about Easter and I'm not even going to go into that. See, I used to be not as censored or afraid to talk about things as far as people say, what government officials say, etc, etc. And now I'm definitely in the state of, well, be careful because you don't know what will happen and I don't want to get in trouble as far as like my life. I want to keep myself safe. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to be worse because I criticized the wrong person. That's the country we live in uh, but yeah i just kind of looked at the numbers the numbers kind of don't 
mean much anymore. The way that I look at it is this is also a fraction of what is actually happening. The, these numbers are lower than the actuality, than the reality. And freaking New York, official numbers, it has half of what Italy has. Only New York. And I think half of or more than half of the entire US. It's not really on anyone's fault except, again, education. Us being informed and knowledgeable of history, of science, of etc, etc. And being able to adapt fast enough. But I'm putting this away. I'm not talking about this anymore. Life plan. There you go. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to do my little vision board thinking. I think in this time, it's like perfect time to do that. Reset everything. My voice for one thing needs to be a little over here instead of over here i need to do my to do my manicure and my pedicure just vision planning just vision boarding vision planning this is how my hair naturally dried i didn't think i had my hair that curly but it's like wavy not exactly curly it's kind of curly though when it dries naturally it's also frizzy and not it loses its d definition of curls what else can i tell you i don't think i need to tell you anything i'll keep this short today was short it was just to the point woke up ate your internal temperature is high did something else edit it again and that was kind of my day tried calling my workplace one for this little drive and now i'm talking to you and it's raining and it's awesome and it's pretty let me show you oh so cool I like this camera. My little drop going down. Anyways, yeah. So I literally just put makeup on and I put it on for nothing because I have nothing to talk about. And I also don't want to make this into a big, big vlog thing. So darn it. I'm going to go in, edit some more. I have two more days. Wait, I'm caught up almost, almost. Don't get too excited, Arena. So let's get caught up. And tomorrow we can start fresh with ideas and something fun to do. I'm gonna, let's, you know what? Every time that I get an idea, I feel it i feel myself light up what i want to do tomorrow is play my guitar there you go we need to tune in we need to like play a little something a little ditty i don't know who said that i don't even know if that's the word but there you go that's what we're going to do yeah i'm so excited about that mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there cool 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 maybe you will help me make up a song on my songs like a melody on my songs and by you i don't mind right now all the blurriness because i did put makeup on and it's like flaky let's see see it's like without the blur it's pretty flaky i think i don't know yeah but anyways cool 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 cool, cool. there's some sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray I don't know the lyrics actually. That's all I know. Cool. Have a wonderful day. Let's get this car in the garage again. It was fun driving. Not really. I actually don't like. Wait, why doesn't it start? Cool. Okay. Bye. Have a one. Have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and compassion. Yon yon ki kase yon yon ki kase yon. Tai jen ba bye pe kurun pa matane jane. Hasta luego. You're so much lighter than my phone you're not yellow. Just finished the 24th. I edited it. I did not want to edit. I did not want to edit. I was so burned out. Just uh, hours and hours of footage. Thankfully, I only have yesterday's and today's and they're both short, I think. I think they should be shorter. So yay. Let's hope. Um, also, I have a headache. Really bad headache. It was a late night last night. Even though I woke up later. I mean not later but late. It's still just everything. Yeah, it's just like a lot of my green. I think the weather is changing maybe too. Anyway, this is cool. I don't look bad. I don't look bad. I say that on here, but then I get on there and like that it was better looking than what I see on the big screen of my laptop. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna go and then tomorrow I should be doing a creative something but I don't know what and I feel like I had more to talk about when I couldn't record than now and also what is up with my voice why is it so low <sighs> I need to do my nails cool have a wonderful day peace love and passion annyeong kikaseyo annyeong kikaseyo taijen babae pukurumpa matane janne hasta luego